some of you jumped right into this, but what's going on in this picture right here? Segregation. Segregation. What do you see that makes you say that? The big wall oh. in the middle of the room. <laughs> <laughs> big wall in the middle of the room. What more can you find? Not equal. Okay, not equal. How? You got the three and the fan on the one side. Okay. The bartender is on the one side. Okay, so the bartender is on the white side of the of the bar. The fan is on that side of the bar. What is the is the bartender holding the paper? Yeah, I was trying to figure out like how one's gonna think. What about his face? It, no, this looks like a fake. Like, I feel like it's one of those cartoons where, like the nose, oh. and, like the like. I'm trying to figure it out. Yes, it almost looks like there's a profile in the possibly the newspaper he's holding. The shadow creates the image of a face. Um, if that was intentional, what do you think the artist was trying to do there? What could it mean? Have the white man looking at himself and what he's at, like actually reflecting upon, like what he's created, essentially. Ah, he's looking himself in the mirror. So he's looking like, himself in the mirror, reflecting on what he's what he's created, and what has he created? To uh, uh, segregated society, inequality, and, and, and divisiveness, and, and unhappiness from the looks of all the people. Okay, so divisiveness, unhappiness, inequality. Um, are these kind of separate but equal? Okay, we, we talked about the fan and about the fact that he's sitting on this side of the bar. Is there anything else you notice that's different about the two sides? There are physically more people on that side versus mm -hmm. this side. Okay. And then, am I mistaken? Is this a woman on this side? I In red, I believe. Yeah. I would read yeah, that as a woman. Is. Okay. So that means something. I'm not sure what. <laughs> and I don't know whether the character is either. I think he's dancing. Dance, so I think that he's dancing. The man is the stand up yeah. this way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's one way to sort of read that pose. And right over his shoulder, there's another face. Mm -hmm. So there's maybe someone facing him and dancing with him. Mm -hmm. What does that tell you about this side of the room? There's a woman here, and maybe a second woman dancing with the man. Do you get a sense of the mood or the personality of this side as opposed to this side? This one looks much more happy. This one, like, everyone looks angry or shady or... Something's going down. Shady. What do you see that makes you say shady? I mean, this guy's like looking over his shoulder, that guy has his hat pulled down. And this side just, I mean, as much as it's not equal, they don't have mm -hmm. a fan of things, I feel like they're having a better time. Like, it's almost like they have their own, it's a different type of freedom. Okay. So yeah. some of the expressions and poses on this side are very, you know, head pulled down or over the shoulder, kind of angry looking or shady, as you said. Back to the bars, like, lopsided. How, well, tell me about the lopsided idea. Well, it's not equal. It's not. It's not straight. It's. I don't. I don't know. Okay. So I think Lawrence it's clearly the white guy's perspective mm -hmm. too. I mean, you can tell that he's. Mm -hmm. It's he's over here, right? right I mean, you're standing with the bar. Mm -hmm. So he put himself on on that side of the picture. Mm -hmm. So the artist has put himself on the white half of the picture, so that we're sort of looking at it off to one side. We're not looking at it straight on with the bar, mm -hmm. with the wall just being much of a thin shape. We're seeing the line of the wall. So a, little, a lot of bars have mirrors in the back, so he could actually, the artist could be sitting. Yes, he could be facing and looking in the mirror. What's what? the year? 1941. Ooh. Yeah. And the doorways, maybe it's just the angle, but the doorways are shorter. One's tall up, yeah. larger than the other appears. But we notice there's two there's, doorways. There's two doorways, right. exactly. Okay, so what, what else does that tell us? Yeah, separate entrance. Separate entrance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's separate entrance, always trying, almost trying to create two entirely separate spaces. So what's interesting about this, the, the date this work was created is that Lawrence, as a northern artist, he's born in New Jersey, he moves to Harlem, spent most of his life in Harlem. This is his <coughs> first trip to the South. So it's his first experience of segregation. Um, and he chooses to paint this. This is the year after um, his famous migration series. And if you know that series, you know he's painted the South a great deal. He's kind of told those stories, but he's never actually been there himself. So this is representing his first um, experience of being in a segregated place.